Hello, and happy day. How does slowing down sound to you today? Would you like to reduce the noise for just a bit? Are you ready to make a choice and decide to listen? My name is Igor S.F. Walker, and I am here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today we look at The World's Religions by Houston Smith. There are truths that religious institutions preserve and which in turn empower those institutions. When religions are sifted for those truths, a different, cleaner side appears. They become the world's wisdom traditions. They begin to look like data banks that house the winnowed wisdom of the human race. In the words of T.S. Eliot, where is the knowledge that is lost in information? Where is the wisdom that is lost in knowledge? We live in a fantastic century. Lands across the planet have become our neighbors. China across the street, the Middle East at our back door. Young people with backpacks are everywhere, and those who remain at home are treated to an endless parade of books, documentaries, and visitors from abroad. We hear that East and West are meeting, but it is an understatement. They're being flung at one another, hurled with the force of atoms, the speed of jets, the restlessness of minds impatient to learn the ways of others. When historians look back on our century, they may remember it most not for space travel or the release of nuclear energy, but as the time when peoples of the world first came to take one another seriously. Even the subtlest way to patronize religion is avoided in this book. It actually honors it not for itself, but for what it yields, its contribution to art or to peace of mind or to group cohesion. This is a book about religion that exists in William Jays' contrast, not as a dull habit, but as an acute fever. People want four things. They begin by wanting pleasure. This is natural. We are all born with built-in pleasure-pain reactors. The second major goal in life, which is worldly success with its three prongs of wealth, fame, and power. True religion begins with the quest for meaning and value beyond self-centeredness. It renounces the ego's claim to finality. It produces the religion of duty after pleasure and success. The third great aim of life, the third thing people seek, is joy, a feeling tone that is the opposite of frustration, of utility, and boredom. So to state the full truth then, we must say that what people would really like to have is infinite being, infinite knowledge, and infinite bliss. They might have to settle for less, but this is what they really want. To gather the wants into a single world, word, what people really want is liberation, release from the finitude that restricts us from the limitless being, consciousness, and bliss, our heart's desire. Here are a few lines that are the most repeated in history, messages from all religions of the world. Love your neighbor as yourself. Whatever you would that men should do unto you, do you also unto them. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. World religions tell us that we are not to resist evil, but to turn the other cheek. The world assumes that evil must be resisted by every means available. They also tell us to love our enemies and bless those who curse us. The world assumes that friends are to be loved and enemies hated. They tell us that the sun rises on the just and the unjust alike.
The world considers this undiscriminating. It would like to see clouds over evil people and is offended when they go unpunished. World religions tell us that outcasts and harlots enter the kingdom of God before many who are perfunctionally righteous. Again, unfair, the world thinks. Respectable people should head the procession. They tell us that the gates to salvation are narrow. The world would prefer them to be broad. They tell us to be carefree as birds and flowers. The world counsels prudence. They tell us that it is more difficult for the rich to enter the kingdom than for a camel to pass through a needle's eye. The world admires wealth. We are told that the happy people are those who are meek, who weep, who are merciful and pure in heart. The world assumes that it is the rich, the powerful and the well-born who are happy. We are limited in joy knowledge and being the three things people really want it is possible or is it possible to pass beyond the strictures that separate us from these things is it feasible to seek to rise to a quality of life that because if less circumscribed would be life indeed to begin with these strictures on our joy these fall into three subgroups physical pain frustration that arises from the twerting of desire and boredom with life in general, physical pain is the least troublesome of the three. The second great limitation of human life is ignorance. As for life's third limitation, it's restricted being. To profitably consider this, we have to first ask how the boundary of the self is to be defined not certainly by the amount of physical space our bodies occupy, the amount of water we displace in a bathtub. It makes more sense to gauge our being by the size of our spirits, the range of reality with which we identify. A yogi who, as he sat meditating on, of the, on the banks of the Ganges, saw a scorpion fall into the water. He scooped it out only to have it bite him. Presently, the scorpion fell back into the river. Once more, the yogi rescued it, only again to be bitten. Uh, the, the sequence repeated itself twice more, whereupon a bystander asked the yogi, Why do you keep on rescuing the scorpion when its only gratitude is to bite you? The yogi replied, It is the nature of scorpions to bite. It is the nature of yogis to help others when they can. There's a wind of fr freedom that blows through these teachings and it frightens the world. It makes people want to deflect by postponement. Not yet, not yet. Maybe our hearts are simply too small for their message. Please do help out. It is easy. Simply like this video so more people can enjoy it. Share it too and spread the word. The word Subscribe to my channel and stay up to date and the link to this book is in the description below. So buy it and read. Never stop learning. Thank you. Love and respect.